Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education using the TC2000 and TradingView platforms. Hello, this is the Stock Indice Review, and what I'm going to do here is change a little bit about my process. I usually do daily uh, trades with the trend here with the stock indices. I don't like gaps. Um, I just went ahead and opened up trades every morning. And in order to free up some of the time, because I am retired, I want to go ahead and do once a week trades. And so what I'll do is I'll cover the overall markets and I'll look at potential trades coming up for next week. And be surprised at you know how effective it is when you combine trend trading with a commitment of traders. And I uh, like the fact that I trade less. That's always a good goal of mine once a week and spend you know, time because that is a, co a commodity that we don't have enough of. And it frees up time for the family. So going forward, we're looking at the Dixie or the dollar. And as you can see here, it went up, crossed over a couple of liquidity zones, went up, tapped this liquidity zone at 104.447. And according to the commitment of traders, is po poised to the downside. Now, the only issue is, is that you have two liquidity zones here on the weekly, uh, 103855 and 103730. So be careful of this. On the futures, it shows a shooting star to the downside, but on the Dixie here, it shows it's finding support. So could be poised to go more to the upside. There looks like there's some momentum in terms of trend trading on this to the upside, but we'll see. Natural gas, it's hit the Z3, pretty much poised to the downside, following its overall trend to the downside. Oil, it's kind of sporadic here, up, down, up. We're in a consolidation zone here, right on the 200, bouncing up and down between this support zone, now that is closed above it, and this support zone of 200. Could have it hit 83.68. Looks like bonds are poised to the downside. It's continued its overall process been below this fractal to the downside after last week's shooting star. These are weekly candles, so just looking at the overall momentum is to the downside and continuing to the downside for the bonds. Same with the 20-year, 5-year, 10-year as well. We do have support for the 10-year at 110, 150. Looking at the Russell, poised to the upside. Nice overall FTM right at resistance zone. Next liquidity zone at 2046.899. Gold, also poised to the downside. Got a nice support level at 2004. S&P 500, nothing but up. There is nothing showing uh, any weakness at all in this market, especially with the S&P. Same with the NASDAQ. We had a little movement here, but continues to poise to the upside. A lot of exhaustion volume on the Wyckoff. Interesting there. Same with the Dow, also continuing to go to the upside with this doji here could be marking a potential down move for next week. So the weekly fades that I looked at was the SQQU or the NASDAQ short. It was up initially on Monday and then started going down to the downside. And if we look at it, Monday was a $40 gain, Tuesday 160 and then it started going down after that. Same with the STAO, overall gains initially and then given all back at the end of the week with a loss of $60. Vito, wonderful, a little bit of loss in initially, but wonderful gains. Didn't hit our stop over here on the weekly low. Nice gains overall for the weekly on about $2,000. I didn't get into the 10-year, even though it, it was bullish. It gapped down. And this is a pre-market uh, pre reversal where this was up and it gapped down below. As you can see, it reversed. It's usually around a 70 to 80% probability to the reversal side. EDC, which is emerging markets, was poised to the upside on the overall commitment of traders. So I just went ahead and put my low here and had a nice day or a nice week for the emerging markets. Best ones were Cure, 3,475 and 1,000 shares. Nice overall FTM, follows the, the trend pretty well, hits the RL270 at its liquidity zone, and, and that was out. And XLB, same thing. It busts past the liquidity zone and continues to stop above it. So XLV and Cure, pretty much the same thing in terms of health or healthcare. But uh, nice overall commitment of traders going forward. Gains on 1,000 shares, $8,365. 
Not bad for uh, weekly trades. Combining both the commitment of traders and trend trading. For next week, we still have healthcare in support and emerging markets. Emerging markets, we now have an overall target here to the upside of 31.78. Nice overall gains for emerging markets. Looking at a missed opportunity here was we had a positive candle green. This would normally hit on a trend. I did not take this one, but look at that overall gain on one week. Absolutely insane. So uh, coal, this is natural, natural gas short. Pretty much followed the trend on the price of natural gas and it was an amazing move to the upside. So looking at next week, I got pill, a lot of healthcare ones in line with commitment traders, retail, TYO, WebL, UBOT, Defense, TBX, Tbor, TNA, URTY, MEDU, FLU, UPRO, TCL, XTN, XLB, XHE, XBI, XHB, SFIXI, MLABU, SOXL, EEM, EFA, and that's it. I'm going to marry these up with the commitment of traders table and then trade once a week. Uh, the trades will open up on Monday and we'll go from there. But uh, good overall week for this week. If you're interested in these kind of strategies going forward or programming in both PineScript or Python and auto trading and join a community that I'm a part of in terms of understanding the commitment of traders on Crowded Market Report, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Monday. Well, if you like this video, hit the like rumble button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information, click the course information links below. On the TradingView link and on TC2000, I have an affiliate link. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.